The theme for this year's observance of World Maritime Day is Navigating the Future, Safety First. The theme aims to draw attention to the international maritime organization's work to improve maritime safety and security. This includes the protection of the maritime environment. The St. Lucia Air and Seaport Authority SLASPA continues to work closely with stakeholders to educate citizens on the importance of safety regulations. With this year's theme being navigating the future safety first, um, it really hones or it really captures what we do here at Maritime. Um, part of those safety measures have to do with legislation. It's an important part of what we do. Um, the state of St. Lucia is currently signed on to or signatory to several large safety conventions that really mobilize our national legislation in regards to what we can and cannot do to safeguard the interest of the persons working in the maritime space. Mr. Paul says the regulations are not solely applicable to small vessel operators or seafarers but shipping vessels which navigate through local waters. He says the main concern is the enforcement of the STCW which would require all vessel operators to be licensed before conducting business. Mr. Paul adds, consistent dialogue with stakeholders is critical in shaping the way forward for maritime safety. All these boats we see on the water, they do the boat ride, they do the sport fishing, these individuals must be trained. Um, and because we're, we're signed on to those conventions, they can now, and they're also being absorbed into our national law, we have the, the arm, or we have the right to actually conduct the training, certify persons, which, is all, which all falls under safety. Um, another big part, of Maritime's efforts to promote safety has to do with stakeholder engagement. The Maritime official outlined the recent workshops held to increase safety along the West Coast and to regulate illegal activities. He expressed gratitude for the collaboration of the Police Marine Unit in helping SLASPA achieve its Maritime Safety Mandate. The Maritime Division conducted, or rather facilitated, uh, training with police officers along the West Coast earlier this year I'm kind of giving them the platform so that they can address the issues in regards to boating safety, particularly in, in Soufre. We were able to come up with solutions or we were able to at least have stakeholder engagement in that persons could have fleshed out their, their opinions as to a way forward to kind of resolve all of those safety issues with the volume of boats, the type of boating operations we can see along the rest coast. Mr. Paul honed in on the upcoming cruise ship season which will see increased traffic in local waters. He says the goal is to ensure less accidents occur so visitor and citizen safety remains a top priority. The maritime official outlined the new avenues which seafarers venture into apart from fishing. As we're coming into the new cruise ship season that we have things put in place that will mitigate the amount of accidents, um, the amount of legal activities. Um, most recently, the Maritime Division is currently in the process of registering kayaks. A lot of persons own kayaks um, along the west coast of St. Lucia. Um, part of basically any vessel that's on the water is supposed to be registered. Um, and once registered, they can be properly regulated. Mr. Paul says dialogues with stakeholders will continue to ensure that all vessel operators are registered with the Maritime Unit. He encourages individuals to keep abreast with SLASPA's programs in an effort to secure their certification. For the DBS Newsworld, Manasseh Stanislas reporting.